Hey guys, so we finally have some news for BRM5. I feel like it's been a long time, but we got this break coming up. I think they're really trying to get us hyped. I don't know if that means we're going to be getting anything specifically very soon, but man, I sure hope so. Uh, the video, if you haven't already seen it, you can come back after here if you want to hear my commentary, but just go watch the video if that's all you want. I'll put it in the description. Uh, it's from the devs themselves, and it just gives us a kind of preview to what's coming in the future. It opens up with a message from NAR. And it says that some of these things they're working on, it's going to open the door to what they want to do for the vision of the game. And eventually with zombie survival mode, which I am very much so looking forward to. When it says that they want to finally be able to reach their vision, and they need to do some coding to reach that, I think that almost seems to say that with this final working of the code, they're going to be at a point where they really can start doing a lot of the things they've been limited to. And so maybe this will be one of the last times they have to spend a lot on code and revamping the underlying aspects of the game. So perhaps we're going to see a lot more updates in the future more consistently since they won't be working um, on things in the background that we don't notice as much. As you all know, they had to do that for a long time to get from Viper to Resurgence, and now they're doing it again slightly, I guess, for the eventual zombie mode and just some other features they want to do. And uh, honestly, I'm all for it. If they need to work on the background of the game, that's better, and it's going to make things way more efficient, I'm sure. So I'll kind of try and do a recap of all the things that they mentioned. First off was the new action menu. So you'll actually be able to have squads where you invite specifically just friends, or you have it for public, just anyone in the game. I think that's really going to be useful for people that want to have some more action in a dynamic open world environment, but they still want to be able to limit some parts of it to their friends, knowing where they are, going out and doing different things. And detail like that adds a lot. A lot of the things shown in this video were just improvement on detail and more interactions that you can do. That gives so much life to a game. And so I'm definitely excited to see this. There's also going to be an interactable map. So you'll be able to point things out for your friends in those squads and put waypoints, markers where to meet up, things like that. Again, another really good detail. And it's just these sort of things are making the game more professional. And so I'm glad they're taking the time to do it right. And uh, I'm excited to see it. Animation is also looking way more dynamic. Talk about giving life to a game. That really was impressive. And the more detail they put on that and fixing of the glitches in the animation, the better. Because as you all know right now, a lot of the times you'll get in a vehicle and it'll kind of freeze up on the animation. Um, so hopefully some of that gets worked out. And it looked pretty good. I did see they had an updated animation. It looked like for getting in the vehicle too. So that's also being worked on. It's not just the walking it seems. We'll probably notice a lot of that through the game. And I'm telling you, that's going to make things really good, especially for cinematics, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. Anyway, let's see what's next. We got vehicle customization also. And, oh yeah, before that, uniforms are more detailed, though. So, I know a lot of y'all are really big on uniforms and stuff like that. It seems like there's a little bit more attention to detail on those. And a little bit more um, graphic update there. Vehicle customization is what I was going to go to, though. So that's basically an actual menu. You can go in and edit current vehicles you have, do a lot more detail, see it before you buy it, which I think is really helpful. I assume, though, we'll have a similar thing for the helicopters. I don't think they said that, but maybe that'll come down the line if not yet. And then also, on the vehicles themselves, you now have, like, smoke coming out whenever you start it. And you got detail, like, you got blinker, hazards, that, again, man, that is pretty cool to see. Also, I noticed they did display the light, like, the headlights. I don't think they went very far. Um, they still kind of went short. Maybe they improved it a little bit. One thing that I would request is that the vehicle headlights go way further. Because, like, my handheld flashlight and gun flashlights, they be shining farther. I feel like my vehicle should actually be at the point where when I have the headlights on in first person, I can actually see at nighttime. Because I can't. Um, currently, that's for sure. I don't know if there's a limitation in Roblox to make a light that powerful. But, uh, I mean, it's like, at least how it is right now, it's like the light stops barely in your viewpoint if you're in any vehicle in first person. Um, but yeah, it looks like that's all going to be very much so improved on detail, so I hope that also comes along with it. And then, there's also an in-game menu that you can access at any time. So you'll be able to edit keybinds, probably turn some things down so you guys with lower NPCs. It'll probably be a lot easier to reduce the stress on your PC and uh, turn some things down. Or vice versa, if you want to improve things and turn things up, that's also available for you. And the more of that, the merrier for me. Um, I think that it looks like there'll be some more features that we don't even currently have that'll be put in there. 
that we I know we can access a menu right now from like the loadout screen when you're still customizing um, but obviously the ability to do that wherever you are is very helpful I know we have the default Roblox graphic turner but I mean that's not very much so I can see that people would want to be able to do more than just that and keybinds I know some people get used to other games so always a plus and then the last thing was weapon improvement so obviously they're always trying to improve that uh, they're trying to be more accurate with the guns and honestly I care more about gameplay and uh, all the things we can interact with but I'm all for guns to being improved obviously I think they have a decent sized dev team now so it seems like there's a lot of people to really work on individual things at least more than the past so things are really coming together in their own fields everybody's working well even the music um, got a classic that was playing in the video that uh, was released today and that was a good background for it for sure I just feel like that there's a good team right now and they're having fun with it and it sounds like there's a good future planned and so I'm really looking forward to that for this game I haven't been doing many videos recently but uh, surely when this update comes out you're gonna see uh, cinematic for me so if y'all enjoy seeing the things of the updates displayed in, I guess, a pretty fashion, um, as good as I can do it, then be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and watch out for that. I know there's a lot of people that'll get really picky with that, and so if you want a perfect build sim where I do everything down to a T, I might not meet your expectations, but I definitely try and at least display things in a cool way, and I have fun with it. So, if y'all want to be involved in that, I'll put my film crew in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be looking forward to this update with you guys, and you'll have a good rest of your day.